What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Corrado. I'm Todd Brecher. And today we're taking my daily driver, daily driver, Dodge Ram Daytona to its first truck show. Now what's pretty funny is that we loaded this truck four or five days ago. Yeah. Or a week, yeah, about a week, a week ago. ago. A week ago. And a week ago. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. And I had no I, I really had no intentions to go to this show, but my good friend Jose, he's got a YouTube channel. His name is uh, Street Terror Performance. Uh he posted about it. He's already in San Antonio, so we're gonna go link up with him and then head to the racetrack. So we'll see you there. All right, guys. So we met up with uh, Jose. You guys might know him as Street Turf Performance on YouTube. So we're here. We're linked up. We got the two trucks. Took a couple photos. Got a little bit of video. And now we're just about to head out to the Alamo City Motorplex for the truck show. So let me introduce you guys to Jose and his Daytona. All right, guys. So this is my Daytona. O5 Daytona. Full man. Lowered on a 6.8 drop. So significantly lower than my Daytona, which is a 3.5 drop. Originally, I wanted to be like Jose here and be a gangster and go 6.8, uh, but I'm not really about that life. So tell us how you uh, accomplished that. All right, so a friend, it has a two inch spindle, has a three inch uh, lower drop uh, control arm, and it has uh, the original springs but for some reason they went a little bit lower than five inches. So that's why I say it's a six inch drop. And on the back, I have the slip kit, uh, my boy slip kit, and he baked two inch spindles. Oh, is there spindles on the rear too? I mean, uh, shackles, my bad. Okay, yeah. okay, just making sure I'm not messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's shackles in the back. So yeah, so two inch uh, eBay shackles and Okay, yeah, that's super low, man. Yeah. On our way here, I don't know if you had the same issue, but we came from like Austin mm -hmm. down to San Antonio. We had to go the slow lane the whole way because every little bump, my tires hit the fender liners, and if I had a big bump, the rear axle hit the nah, frame. I was, I was coming over here 35 around there. Oh, dude, I was going like six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. going full blown yeah, grandma. I mean, the, truck, the truck, I mean, I, I cut a little bit on the, fend on the fender wells on top so it won't hit, and I mean, it turns good and everything. I don't, I don't really have problems with it. I mean, it's my daily driver. I take it anywhere. I've even taken it to California, from Texas to California. Holy crap. Being this, being this drop, so. You know, what's funny is you mentioned this is your daily driver. This is my daily driver, too. And I had, like, no intentions of going to a show in it. And then I saw your video, and you were like, hey, we're going to the show. And I was like, dang, I might as well take mine if you're taking yours. Two Daytonas. Yeah. Something you don't see because everybody has Chevy. So it's a good thing that I finally get to go with someone that has some money, you know. Yeah. And you said you got your Daytona from your father, right? So you're, yeah, it's been in your family since it was new. It was a brand new, yeah. That I, is, I, bought it, I bought it from my friends and I took it out of the race. Yeah, yeah man, that's freaking crazy. Cause this truck is, it's really clean. I love what you did with it. And it was the inspiration for me to jump into them because I've always done lifted trucks. And I was like, man, I kind of want to do a street truck. But like you said, everyone's a Chevy S10s and they're not this big. I wanted to keep a full size truck, but make it a street truck. And then when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's possible. Like, I can do it. Yeah. And then I got mine. And what's funny is, like, I'm technically the second owner as well because that truck was bought in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And then the person who I bought it from, it was the grandson. The grandfather had passed away. So I have all the paperwork for when it was bought in San Antonio. And I bought it in San Antonio. So pretty cool. I'm the second owner. You're the second owner. Yeah. Two Daytonas. Both 05. They only came out in 05. Yeah. But you got the Go Mango. I've got the Silver. So pretty cool. What number is yours? 9,145. Yeah, mine's 5,997. Well, you see, you got, you got the numbers, man. That's like a real <laughs> thing. All right, so for the most part, they're the same. You have a lower drop. You have a different exhaust. I took my chrome fuel door off, but I got a black one coming in. Uh, you've got the Viper wheels, which, I mean, it makes these wheels look, I don't know, I don't like these wheels. But that's what I was talking about when you get these wheels, guys. You can see the beautiful brakes behind it. Mine covers it. You can't see all that nice stuff right back there. But the coolest thing is this hood, man. A lot of people don't know these, uh, what was it? The Venom, is it Venom hood? It's the Venom hood. And they, they got discontinued, so right now people in the opinion, they're asking crazy. Let me see that. I know you went all the way to Oklahoma. I went all the way to Oklahoma to go pick it up. Uh, some guy hit me up on Facebook and he knew that I was looking for it. He hit me up, he's like, hey, I have one, if you're interested, we made a deal. Yeah. Yeah, man, the truck's real hard. It sounds good. 
Got the interior all blacked out. That's gonna be the next step for mine. I can't stand that tan interior. But yeah, and yours, you have the intake, you have an exhaust, you have headers, yeah, and you're tuned, intake. right? I have a red ram intake. I have a base header, launching header. I have full three inch exhaust with a magnum flow bullet. I have a day dreaming tune with the Diablo and the programmer. Oh, and I have them at 180 stacks, so it comes out with that at 180. Oh, man, so you're trying to race or what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to race it at the track today or no? Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to, but I mean, I have to. Bro, if you do it, I'll do it. Oh, man, I guess we're both, I guess we're going to race. Yeah. I suckered him into a Toronto racing, <laughs> Toronto <laughs> racing style. But yeah, man, truck's gorgeous. Both trucks are clean for the year. Got this beast lowered. So, speaking of track, let's head to the track, brother. Cool. Let's do it. Should be good. And there's a ton of people trying to get in. I uh, can't even see on camera, but right over there, the line keeps going. Oh, we're moving. Update it's been like 15 minutes. We're still on the same road. So I'm detailing my dash before we get to the show. That way, we're nice and shiny. Hey, man, do some work, man. Don't hit, dude. Don't be hitting the windshield with it. Don't. You can see where I've already shined it right there, and I haven't shined it right there. I'm gonna show it real quick. Yep. <laughs> tire kicker, tire shine. Brought to you by Chemical Guys. Now, you're probably thinking, like, holy, you're putting tire shine on your dash? Listen, it's water based, and it says it right here in the directions. Gently working the surface. Um, and you, wait, I'm reading the wrong stuff. Where is it? Vinyl, rubber, plastic surfaces safe to use on the inside and the outside and it protects against harmful uv rays that causes discoloration i've already tested it on my outside plastics and it works freaking amazing now i'm testing it on the inside and i'm actually pretty pleased so far pretty pleased so i'm gonna keep keep doing this right now i'm waiting for the hate comments in the section down below all right still waiting 12 seconds later. Update. <laughs> Update. <laughs> Update. <laughs> I got them both in the dash. Yeah, I told them, make sure you go in small circles so it gets in all the cracks and crevices. Put the lotions on the skin. Yeah. And be careful on the top one. These third gen dash, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. They're made out of crackers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, be careful with it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I can see on camera all the spots you're missing. Okay. No, it's not okay. I need it to look even. Yeah, you gotta reach out and spray it a little bit up there. So it doesn't hit the glass though. Yeah, yeah. Because then it gets all smeary, man. You know that? Water -based. Look at that. It is water based. <laughs> doesn't even want to clean it. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I know it's getting like warm, bro. It's time to say it's yeah. All right. All right. I think you earned lunch today. Mm. No. <laughs> right here. Oh. Oh. We're closer to traffic. Get it going. Get it going. Crash for 300. On fire. I'll be back on about a song before. Hey, dude, you won't. No, you won't. You won't. Don't, man. You don't. You gotta drive home. <laughs> yep. We're here for what, an hour and a half now? Yeah, oh, man. Still got a while more to go. We're halfway. Oh, my God. 
prepared for this. Eventually. They're really playing with us today. Went from one line to another line, from another line. You know what's at the end of the line? Huh? You know what's at the end of this line? Another line. The starting line. thirsty it's hot we're hungry nobody's ate yet you're a little hungover yeah, I'm <laughs> so we're kind of whoop uh, Ty and I are heading out uh, you're gonna stay a little longer and uh, catch some more trucks do some burnouts so hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you want to see some more Daytona content other than my own definitely check out Jose's channel street terror performance or check him out uh, IG 
I'll put a link to the description below to both his YouTube and his IG, and of course, like somewhere like right here, so you guys could check it out. So, Jose, brother, I'm hitting the road. All right, bro. Thanks, bro. I'm Thanks, out. Sir. Take care. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. Wrapping up the video. We're heading out. If you like these videos, hit that like button. Leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace out.